now let us discuss the insertion sort algorithm in the insertion sort algorithm if i consider the same elements that we took in the selection sort we consider that we have two parts in this array one of the part is the sorted array and the another part is unsorted array so the upper part is considered to be sorted and the lower part is considered to be unsorted now we, what we will do we will try to insert one element from the unsorted array to the sorted array so this is the first iteration what we are doing we are inserting the first element in the unsorted array to the unsorted to the sorted array so after this operation what will happen then we will have two elements in the sorted part and four element in the unsorted part okay so this is the sorted part and this is the unsorted part in the next iteration what we'll do we will again try to insert this 90 in the sorted array so where do you feel the position of this 90 should be in the sorted array ahead of 100 so the position of 90 should be here so we are trying to insert 90 in the sorted part and in the unsorted part we remain with 30 40 and 50 again try to do the same thing try to insert one element from the unsorted array to the sorted array so the position of 30 should be ahead of 60 so we are inserting this 30 before 60 so the elements in the sorted part will be these and now insert this 40 in the sorted array so the position of 40 should be ahead of 60 now the elements are 30 40 60 90 100 in the unsorted part i remain with only one element and then insert this 50 the position of 50 should be ahead of 60 so we will insert this 50 now we do not have any more element to insert so we'll say that these elements are so what this procedure does it takes two parts one of the part as sorted array and another part as unsorted array in the first part of the sorted part we consider we have only one element initially from the unsorted part we takes first element <laughs> excuse me and will insert 60 in the sorted part in the second iteration i have inserted this 90 in the sorted part in the third iteration i inserted this 30 in the sorted array and so on so forth so i have actually inserted n minus 1 elements on this and this and this 40 and 50 so i have inserted n minus 1 elements it means i perform n minus 1 iterations okay now let's see how the insertions are taking place let us consider this case wherein i have to insert 50 in this array okay elements are 30 40 60 90 150 so i have to insert this 50 let's say this is a j position and the element which i had to insert is k which is 50 okay now if i compare this 50 with this jth element if i compare this k with the jth element Then this fifty is small and hundred is large, so we will exchange these two. 
but while exchanging we are not actually exchanging we are actually shifting this 100 to this place we have already saved this 15k so no issue of losing this data and every comparison will now take place with this k only so we have shifted this j element to this position it means jth element has now been made as j plus first element Okay, jth element was shifted one down. So aj element is now aj plus one element. A5 element is now a6 element. Now again we compare this element with this 50. Means k. So now this element is greater than this, larger than this. So this will also be shifted down. So 90 will come here. So this statement will work in this case also. And now if I consider this is J, then again this element is compared with 50. This K element, 60 is larger than 50. So this will be shifted one step down. So 60 comes at the fourth position. Earlier it was at third position. Now we have brought it down to fourth position. If I consider this element is Jth element, then now K will compare K will be compared with this jth element. 40 is now smaller than this k. This is not larger. So no question of shifting it down. We cannot shift it down. So if I find that aj element is smaller than this k element, it means I have found the appropriate position of k to be inserted. So what will be the appropriate position of k? This will be this position, the third position. I can insert this 50 here. So now as a result, this 100 was shifted at 6th position, this 90 was shifted to 5th position. Let us mark the positions, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th. 90 was shifted to 5th position, 60 was shifted to 4th position. Now we have found that 40 is smaller than 50 means k, so no need to shift it down. Since 40 is at second position, at the third position we will insert this kth element. And rest of the element above this will remain same. So we are making the comparison with the element to be inserted with every element of this array by going up but making the comparison only till we find an element smaller than the comparing element. Or the element to be inserted. Okay, so let us try to write uh, a small piece of code for this. Let's say the element which is to be inserted is jth element. Okay, so now the element which is to be inserted will be aj, and we are considering that it is k. Now kth element, no, the k element will be compared with every element starting from one step down and going up. But going up only till we find an element which is smaller than the kth element. Okay. So we can say that while k, while aj is larger than k we are doing this what we are doing actually we are shifting the aj element one step down so this if, if i say that this is the jth element and this element is larger than the k so this will be shifted one step down but before doing this we will be decrementing this j because here we have j and now the comparisons will start from this yes. so j equals to j minus 1 and after every comparison we will shift this j down by 1 or j will be decremented by 1 to be more specific if i have compared this element now i will compare this element if i have compared this element now i will compare this element so j equals to j minus 1 okay so this is for a specific case like this now if i say that my elements 
I like this. My elements are 10, 20, sorry, 70, 30, 20, and 10. Okay, I have to insert this 30. So when I compare this element with this, my k is 30, my j is here. If I compare j with this element, k, j is, j is larger. So this will be shifted down. So 70 will come here. And now I decrement j. When I decrement j, j will come to zero position, which is an invalid position for us. We have started, we have think we have thought that our indexes of the array are starting from one. So now if I decrement j, this will be coming at zero. So there is no element to compare. At zero position, we do not have any element to compare. And in this case, we will have to stop the comparisons. So in this while loop, if I am writing this condition, along with this, I should write one more condition that j is greater than zero. If j has come to zero, then I will not make any comparison. Okay. Now, when uh, these comparisons are finished, Let's say, again taking the example of this one, in this case, 100 was shifted down, 90 was shifted down, 60 was shifted down, 30 and 40 were here, my j was here, I compared this j element with k, which is 50, j element is smaller than 50, that means j element, now we do not have to sh shift this element down, in that case, I will insert k, which is 50 at this position, which is actually the j plus, four, j plus 1 position. If j is at this position, I will insert at this position. So k will be inserted here. So once this loop will finish, I will insert k element at a j plus 1 position. Fine. So let us write it to more clear. And since we have written only the first condition, I will have to write subsequent operations, subsequent iterations also. So this is the algorithm for the insertion sort, wherein A array is given with n elements. Let us write the keyword algorithm in, bit, in before this. Let's begin this algorithm. So till now what we have written? k equals to a j j equals to j minus 1 while a j is greater than k and j is greater than 0 do We are shifting jth element at j plus first j plus first position and then decrementing j by one. And then once this loop will finish, I will insert the element k at a j plus one position. So this is one of the iteration we have written. And we have to write n minus one iterations. We already already seen that we have to insert a total of n minus one elements from the unsorted part to the sorted part. So this actually is representing the iterations, the number of iterations are n minus. So it means this entire thing will be repeated n minus one times. Okay. So at the very first we have to insert the second element, then I will have to insert the third element, then I will have to insert the fourth element and so on and so forth. So for i equals to 2, 2 and 2. Okay, so you can say that to make certain changes inside, what you can say, you can write it AI here. Second element is to be inserted. So I'm taking K equals to AI, the element which is to be inserted. And then J will start at I minus one. And rest of the things remain same. Fine, so this is the, Algorithm for the insertion. 
Now in this, uh, to analyze this in the ingestion sort algorithm, let us take the specific cases uh, like we have the reverse sorted array. In this case, if I have to insert this element here, only one comparison will take place and result will be this. And then if I insert 50 with this, so 50 will first get compared with 70 and then with 60. It means there are two comparisons which are taking place. As a result of this, I have these elements. And then if I will insert this 40, I will have to make three comparisons, one with 70, another one with 60 and another one will be with 50. So the number of comparisons here will be three. As a result of this, I have the elements 40, 50, 60, 70. And then I have to insert this 30. 30 gets compared with 70 with this, with this and with this as well. So total number of comparisons which are taking place is 4. So the first iteration, one comparison, second, two, third, three and so on and so forth. If I have n elements in minus one iteration, in the last iteration, in minus one comparisons. This again is same series where that what we found in the bubble sort and the selection sort. If we add n to this and subtract n to this, doesn't make any change. We can write it as summation n minus n which is n into n plus 1 by 2 minus n which is n square by 2 plus n by 2 minus n which is equals to n square by 2 minus n by 2. Dominating factor here is n square so complexity will be written with respect to n square. Now we will have to find out what notations can be used. To understand that let us take another example of sorted array as an input. We say that the input array is given to us is sorted. So if I try to insert this 20, comparison with 10 shows that 10 is a small and 20 is large. So only one comparison and you declared that 20 is at the appropriate position. Now if we compare this 30 with 20, again 20 is small and 30 is larger. So no exchange, no shifting. So in one step only you declared that the position of 30 is fine. Similar will be happening with 40, similar will be happening with 50, similar will be happening with 60. So in only one of the comparison, you are declaring that the element is at the appropriate position. So in every iteration, we are only doing one comparison. In the first iteration, one comparison, second iteration, one comparison, third iteration, one comparison, and the last iteration also one comparison. Total number of iterations are n minus 1. So 1 into n minus 1. So number of comparisons which are actually taking place is n minus 1. So this actually is the best case wherein the elements given to us are sorted. And this actually is us, uh, for us is the worst case. And the worst case what we found that we have to make n square by 2 minus n minus 2, n by 2 comparisons. So the best case complexity is written in the omega notation. So omega n and the worst case complexity is written in o big O notation. So the complexity is big O n square. So let us update this in the table. Omega n and big O n square. Now for writing the space complexity, let us now see what are the extra variables we took from our side. A was given, n was given. From our side, we took i, k, j as the extra variable. So the total number of extra variables that we took from our side is 3. And no matter how big the array is, only 3 variables will be required for sorting by the insertion sort. So 3 is actually a constant value. So the complexity can be written as theta 1. So the space complexity of insertion sort algorithm will be theta 1. Thank you.